stay at your blood clot parents' house for as long as possible. Now, there are some people, they're unable to, they were unable to live at their parents' house for whatever reason. I don't know. No. Maybe they moved country because for work purposes or their parents abandoned them, whatever. I'm not too sure. But 90% of people have and had the opportunity to live with their parents and they decided, you know what? I want my independence. I feel like a big person now, so I'm going to move out. Well, you're a fool because it's a luxury to be able to live at your parents' house and save money. Don't get it twisted, though. There are some fucking working class parents, and I need to make a video about this as well, and I will. There's some working class parents. This really pisses me off because my mum never dealt with men like that. This is why a man loves my mum so much, yeah? Ma, to my mum. There's some working class parents, because I believe it's only working class parents that do this. Working class parents see their children as an income. Like, me, I used to just chip in and give my mum a little bit of money. But my mum was cool with it. For one, I'm not a big spender. There's no Mercedes outside. I'm not in Balmain. I'm not wearing Gucci sneakers or nothing like that. Yeah? So I used to give my mum a little bit of money. Because my mum knows that man's saving my money. And I proved it. That's why I got this. That's why I got that. Yeah. There's some working class parents, they charge their children like £500 a month for rent. £500 a month for rent. Blood, you could fucking um, rent a council house for a little bit less than that, or roughly. I'm sure in London, the council houses are about £500 a month. In, in Northampton, oh, to be fair, that was a bed sit. That was... Um, yeah, that was a bed sit. So, yeah, one bedroom studio, or whatever you want to call it. I met some woman, she said she was paying £70, £70 a week, uh, you know, which is 280 but obviously that's a one bed, a one bed, uh, bed sit, so which is like a studio flat thing. But anyway, £500 a month, that's fucking robbery. Only working class parents do that kind of bullshit, usually. Usually. And when I say these, these parents are charging their youths £500, but they, their youths are not, their kids are not even earning money like that. Obviously, if you're some high flying banker or whatever, then yeah. And you're earning 10 grand a month. Yeah. Bust your mum £500 a month. Yeah, that's cool. But these men are not no high flying bankers. These men are not on 10 grand a month. These men are barely scraping 13, 15 grand a month, uh, 1500 a month. Yeah. And their parents are talking about, yeah, give me £500 a month, man. But if you're at home with your parents and you can live for free or live for virtually nothing, stay at home as long as you can and save your fucking money. Do not stay at home and the money that you could be saving, go and buy a flashy car. I was at a boy's house the other day. I mean, he's sure I took it to his mum. I did, I don't know who this woman is, obviously. I'm just working in the tenant's house, whatever. And I've gone to see this woman to go and test her house, whatever. Um, I hear one car pull up, vroom, vroom, like some loud exhaust or whatever. Yeah? And the sun's come through the back door, whatever. Innit? And I hear them not talking or whatever. Innit? And um, she was like, oh, I wish I could drive a car like like yours or whatever in it now. Obviously, they didn't say what car he was driving or whatever. And he said, ha, ah, that's that's the good thing about living at home for free or whatever. And I said, hmm. I said, boy, well, you're going to be living in that car, boy, because with that attitude, that mentality, you ain't going to go and fucking save up to buy no property. Because your mind is, oh, yeah, let me live at home for free and not save. Let me live at home for free and then go and spend all my money on a fucking car just to show off and get validation from the people. It's just stupid. The mind of a young person is just ridiculous. It's like, like, like a thief in a jewelry shop that's unattended. They don't know what to do with them. So like, they just go, go fucking mad. Me, I've never been like that with money. When money comes into my hand, it stays. I don't, I don't know, maybe because I used to buy and sell crisp and drinks in school, but I've always been good with money. You know, when I get money, I don't feel like there's some people, they feel like they need to spend money, like almost like it's fucking contagious. Like, like if it stays in their hand too long, it's going to fucking melt their hands or something like that. 
It's just ridiculous, man. It's nonsense. See, that's decent. When I was living at home, my stepmom was charging me £120 a month. That's, 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 that's beautiful, man. When you're in a position like that, you can save money. No, it's £500 a month. £500 a month. You're charging your youth six bags a year. Six bags a year. But my mortgage on my second flat, I'm doing interest only, so I'm not paying off the capital. I'm just doing interest only. It's only £106 or something like that. Yeah. Furthermore, fuck, fuck the flat. My mortgage on this house is £453 a month. So if your mother or your dad is charging you five bills a month, you're paying more than I am for a fucking property. And I am investing in this property every time I make a payment. You're giving your mum £500, that's going straight into her back pocket. I don't want to hear no bullshit because these parents try to um, play, this, get, play, play the card. Oh yeah, I'm just saving it for my child. You're not saving none, man. You're going on holiday with that money, man. Going on holiday with that money. But yeah, if you can save at your if you can stay at your parents' house, stay at your stay at your parents' house and save your money. Like I said earlier, man was working at home to Harringate earning two, um, 28 grand a year. I used to take home 1800 and I would save roughly about a thousand pounds a month. Yeah, maybe nine hundred pounds some months, maybe one it maybe eleven, eleven hundred some months. Um, because I might do private work or whatever in it. Obviously, the months where I'll save a little bit less is that like I might be fixing my bike or fixing my car or something like that. So um I'm not always gonna be able to save up a grand, but averagely in a year, I'll save up 10 grand a month and uh, 10 grand a year. That's through living at home with my mum. Now, I could have been an idiot. Oh, you're not going to hear a dog barking in a minute, that fucking pussy old dog. But um, I could have been an idiot and instead of saving 10 grand a year, I could have said, oh, you know what? Let me just put down on an Audi TT or, or, or you know, something, something sporty, something flashy. Yeah, or or local BMW 2 Series or even a Mercedes. Yeah, okay, Mercedes is not expensive. It's only 300, 400 pounds a month for a Mercedes. Depends on what one you're going to get as well. You can get Mercedes for less than 300 pounds a month, probably as well. Yeah, I could have done that, but I decided not to because you know what? There's more important things to do and to, to get a hold of than fucking um, driving a nice car just to impress people. Stay at your blood clot parents' house and save your money. You know how many people out here right now who are in their mid to late 30s, 40s and that, who if they could go back in time, they would have stayed at their mom's house so that they could save up money. And it's mad. It's just history repeats itself. That I might be saving one or two people or helping to influence one or two people in the right way right now, but there's still a lot of people out there and a lot of people who are going to watch this right now do not go listen to what man say. Man like AY London. What's going on? Sir? So yeah, stay at your parents' house. Man ain't even got a fucking name. Just call him Two Dot. Yeah, so Two Dot... You're 17, stay at your mother's yard. Once you start working in that, stay at your parents' house if you can. Yeah. And another thing with this as well, about people not staying at their parents' house as well. Let me tell you something right now, yeah, because some people say, oh, I can't um, stay at my mum's yard or stay at my parents' house because I don't get along with them and that. Do you know why you don't get along with your parents and that? You're not busy enough. Let me tell you something. Even me, for example. You see when I was working at that Holborn job? 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You, you know I never used to see my mum, you know? Like, I would get up at like 6 in the morning or something like that. My mum's my, my nice though. My mum used to make me a cup of tea in the morning. So I'll go in the shower for like 30 minutes. You know me, I'm a black man. So I'll take long in the shower and, and I'll come out and there'll be a cup of tea 
waiting for me or whatever. Innit? Obviously not in the Santander, man, because I was like, yeah, I was at my mum's yard. So anyway, so there'll be a cup of tea waiting for me. Innit? But I'll wake up at 6 a.m., get out of the shower at 6.30 or whatever. And maybe my showers didn't take 30 minutes. But anyway, boom. I'd see my mum in the morning. I might cross paths with my mum in the morning. That's it. I'll be at work from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. I'll come home at 9. I remember, it takes me an hour to get to, to and from work, yeah? An hour there, an hour back. I'll come home at 9. My dinner will be in the microwave. I might catch a glimpse from my mum. She might come downstairs to get a drink or something. Other than that, I don't see my mum. I never used to see my mum from Monday to Friday. I would not have a full conversation with my mum Monday to Friday. Saturday and Sunday, if I was available, me and my mama's boy, I'll go and pick up my mum from work. So, yeah, I'll go and pick her up and I'll talk to her then. But other than that, I never used to see my mum. How can I be getting on my mum's nerves? Or how can my mum be getting on my nerves if I don't see her? If you're living at your parents' house, you need to make sure you're keeping yourself busy. Go to work, yeah? So, wherever you work in your shift or whatever, you get off at five, you get home at six. Why are you not going to the gym? Why are you not pursuing something? Like, you might be writing a book or doing a YouTube thing or whatever in the extracurricular activities. I know, obviously, COVID or whatever in it, yeah, but let's talk about pre-COVID or post-COVID or whatever in it, yeah. Why are you not doing stuff to keep yourself busy? You should be out of your yard between the hours of 8 a.m. to about 7, 9 p.m. That's when you should be coming home. Relax or whatever for one or two hours, go to bed at 11 or 12 o'clock at night, boom, get up, do the same thing again. You live that routine, yeah, where you get up and that and you're out of the house at 8, 8 a.m., you come home at 5, you go to the gym or you go and check your bridges or you do something productive with your life, like you're building a YouTube channel or you're writing a book or whatever, and practicing martial arts, I don't know, you're doing something productive with your life and you get home at 9 o'clock, you ain't going to have no time to be getting into no arguments with your parents. But what happens is people have got too much time on their hands. People are going to work and coming home and just watching TV. Watching bullshit on TV, watching the news, getting pranked over bullshit over the news. That's why you can't get along with your parents and that. Because you, you, you're in their face too much. You ain't got a life. <laughs>